Have you ever wondered about the complexity of brain injury cases in intensive care units? It's a realm where healthcare professionals work tirelessly, orchestrating a harmonious dance of science and care. Among them, a key player often overlooked is the clinical pharmacist whose role is as critical as it is compelling. In the intricate ballet of brain injury management they are the choreographers who ensure every step is flawlessly executed. So, what exactly does a clinical pharmacist do in these cases? Let's delve deeper. Clinical pharmacists are integral members of the ICU team. Their role extends far beyond just dispensing medication. They are the medication experts, the ones who ensure that the right patient gets the right medicine at the right dose and time. Let's take a closer look at their duties in the ICU setting. The first and foremost responsibility of a clinical pharmacist is medication management. This involves reviewing the patient's medication regimen, considering their unique circumstances, such as the severity of their condition, other existing medical issues, and possible drug interactions. They work diligently to optimize therapy, minimize side effects, and prevent medication errors. In addition to this, clinical pharmacists play a crucial role in patient education. They provide clear, concise information about the medication, its purpose, its dosage, and potential side effects. This knowledge empowers patients and their caregivers, enabling them to be active participants in their care, even in critical care settings. Collaboration with other healthcare professionals is another key aspect of a clinical pharmacist's job. They work closely with doctors, nurses, and other members of the healthcare team, providing valuable input regarding medication selection, dosage, and monitoring. They are often the ones who bridge the gap between the complex world of pharmacology and the everyday practice of medicine. In the context of brain injury cases, the role of a clinical pharmacist becomes even more crucial. They help manage the delicate balance of medications required to control symptoms, reduce inflammation, and prevent secondary damage. They are actively involved in monitoring the patient's progress and adjusting the medication regimen as needed. To sum up, the role of a clinical pharmacist in the ICU is multifaceted, encompassing medication management, patient education, and collaboration with the healthcare team. Their expertise is invaluable in ensuring safe, effective, and individualized treatment plans. But how do these roles play out in a real-life scenario? A case study will help us understand better. Consider the case of John Doe, a 45-year-old man with a traumatic brain injury admitted to the ICU. John's case is complex, and the stakes are high. His life hangs in the balance, with a team of healthcare professionals working around the clock to ensure he receives the best care possible. Among this team, there's a clinical pharmacist, a pivotal figure in managing John's treatment. In the initial stages, the clinical pharmacist plays a key role in diagnosis. They analyze John's medication history, check for potential interactions, and assess the potential impact of his current medications on his condition. This is a critical step, as some medications can exacerbate brain injuries or interfere with the treatment process. Once the team has a comprehensive understanding of John's condition, they move on to treatment planning. Here, the clinical pharmacist's expertise is invaluable. They work with the team to select the most suitable medications for John's condition, considering factors like his health status, age, and potential side effects. They're also responsible for determining the correct dosage, a task that requires a deep understanding of pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics, the study of how the body affects drugs and vice versa. As John's treatment progresses, the pharmacist monitors his response to the medication and adjusts the dosage as needed. They keep a close eye on his vitals and look out for any signs of adverse effects. If John experiences any side effects, the pharmacist is there to manage them, adjusting his treatment plan to mitigate these effects and ensure his comfort. But their job doesn't end there. The clinical pharmacist also provides patient counseling. They explain to John and his family what his treatment entails, the potential side effects, and how they're working to manage his condition. This is a crucial part of patient care as it helps John and his family understand the situation and make informed decisions. Beyond these tasks, the clinical pharmacist also collaborates with other healthcare professionals, providing drug information and contributing to research and teaching within the ICU. They're a valuable resource for the entire team, helping to enhance patient care and outcomes. John's case is just one example. Every day, clinical pharmacists play a similar role in ICUs across the country, helping to manage complex cases like brain injuries. They're an integral part of the healthcare team, 
their expertise aiding in diagnosis, treatment planning, and patient care. As we can see, the clinical pharmacist's role is vital in managing complex brain injury cases in the ICU. Their work goes beyond just dispensing medication. They're involved in every step of the patient's journey from diagnosis to recovery, their expertise helping to improve patient outcomes and enhance the quality of care. And in cases like John's, their work can truly make a difference. The impact of a clinical pharmacist in ICU goes beyond individual patient care. It's a ripple effect that spreads outward, touching every corner of the healthcare landscape. Let's start with patient outcomes. The presence of a clinical pharmacist in the ICU has been proven to significantly improve these. How so? Well, by optimizing medication therapy, they help streamline the recovery process. They ensure that each patient receives the most effective treatment for their specific condition, taking into account their medical history and any potential drug interactions. They are the human safeguard against the one-size-fits-all approach. But their influence doesn't stop at the patient's bedside. They also play a vital role in reducing medication errors, one of the leading causes of avoidable harm in healthcare settings. By reviewing prescriptions for appropriateness and accuracy, they can catch and correct mistakes before they reach the patient. They are the gatekeepers, standing at the intersection of science and safety, ensuring that every prescription is not only effective, but also safe. The clinical pharmacist's role extends even further to enhancing the efficiency of the healthcare team. They serve as an invaluable resource for doctors and nurses, providing expert advice on medications and their effects. They foster a collaborative environment where every member of the team can learn from each other and work together to provide the best possible care. Furthermore, they contribute to the financial sustainability of the healthcare system. By reducing medication errors and optimizing treatment, they can help decrease the length of hospital stays and readmissions, leading to substantial cost savings. So, you see, the role of a clinical pharmacist in the ICU is not just important, it's indispensable. They are the heart of the healthcare team, pumping knowledge and expertise through the veins of the system, ensuring that every patient receives the best possible care. The role of a clinical pharmacist in ICU is undoubtedly crucial, and their contributions deserve our recognition. In the complex world of ICU, every professional plays a pivotal role, and the clinical pharmacist is no exception. As we've seen throughout this video, the role of these healthcare professionals in brain injury cases is nothing short of significant. They are the ones who ensure that the right medication reaches the right patient at the right time, all while considering the individual's unique biological and medical circumstances. Our journey through the intricacies of this profession has revealed that a clinical pharmacist is like a guardian angel, watching over each patient, ensuring that every drug prescribed aligns with the overall treatment plan. They are the bridge that connects the complex world of pharmaceuticals to the equally complex world of patient care. We've examined a real-life case study that underscored the value of clinical pharmacists in ICU. We saw how they played a vital part in a patient's recovery from a brain injury, demonstrating their ability to make a difference in life and death situations. This case study served as a tangible reflection of their indispensable role in the healthcare system. But what makes a clinical pharmacist truly remarkable is their ability to balance a profound understanding of medicine with a deep empathy for their patients. Their work goes beyond reading prescriptions and dispensing drugs. They are the unseen warriors in the background, constantly monitoring, evaluating, and adjusting treatment plans to ensure the best possible outcomes for their patients. As we've delved into this fascinating world, we hope you've come to appreciate the critical role clinical pharmacists play in ICU, particularly in brain injury cases. Their work is a testament to the fact that every professional in the healthcare industry has a significant part to play and that no role is too small or insignificant. In closing, it is our hope that this video has shed some light on the often underappreciated role of clinical pharmacists in ICU. By understanding their work, we can better appreciate the intricate web of professionals that come together to make our healthcare system function seamlessly. But this is just the tip of the iceberg. There is so much more to learn, to understand, and to appreciate about the world of clinical pharmacists. So why not join us in our journey to uncover the hidden heroes of healthcare? To learn more about the fascinating world of clinical pharmacists in ICU, hit subscribe and join us in our journey. Together we can appreciate the unsung heroes of healthcare.